To me, this case couldn't be clearer. I don't understand why we're even fighting over it. In a landmark case, Cardozo law professor Daniel Ravisher teamed up with the ACLU to overturn the decades-long practice of patenting human genes by biotech companies and university researchers. Allowing patents on gene is overwhelmingly harmful to society in many ways. Not only does it prevent people from looking at their own genes to see what uh, conditions they may have or be susceptible to, uh, it also takes from the public domain what, that what God gave us, what exists in nature. The case involved the biotech company Myriad Genetics, which owns the patents for genes that have been linked to breast and ovarian cancers. The specific issues that we care about are the clients we represent and their ability to either look inside their bodies at their own genes or to be able to do research on these genes. Working with Cardozo Law students through his Public Patent Foundation, Ravisher and the ACLU filed the suit on behalf of thousands of doctors, scientists, health groups, and women affected by breast and ovarian cancers. A federal judge agreed with their position and struck down the patents, bringing the benchmark case to the forefront of the debate on the future of personalized medicine. And we argued to the court, and the court agreed with us, that simply removing genes from your body and looking at them is not markedly different from nature. In this case, it wouldn't allow people to look inside their own body, see what genes they have so they can get a custom-tailored diagnosis and treatment from their doctors. The purpose of patents in our Constitution is to promote progress. And so there has to be a balance, and allowing patents on genes would be outside that balance and be too favorable to the rights of private companies and not to the benefit of the public. The watershed ruling marks the first time a court has found patents on genes unlawful and brings into question the validity of patents now held on approximately 2,000 human genes. Ravisher attributes much of the success of the case to the support he received at Cardozo. One of the things that I found about Cardozo that I think separates it from other law schools is the courage of the faculty and the administration to take on tough issues. For Dean Rudenstein and now Dean Diller to support our work is a sign of courage that I don't see a lot of other law schools offering.